that poster that goes uh, of Salman <laughs> Khan uh, and, and Doom 4 is Doom written. 4. What was the intention behind it? You should ask him because that was his plan. I want to work with Ranbir Kapoor. I really have a big crush on him. So, <laughs> yeah, so what is that? I want to become a Prime Minister of India. <laughs> Superstar or Prime Minister? The Every vibe is... 10 seconds, you're getting an atom bomb sound. When the head get burned, no, I don't, I didn't know about this. So that song was disturbing us, and the dead body smell when it gets burned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, I can't just tell you how it was. I'm guessing you guys have already seen Banaras, but my guests today have made sure that we see Banaras in an even more beautiful way. Joining me in a conversation is Zed and Sonal. Hello. Welcome to Pinkula, guys. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You. Thank you. How have you guys been? Very good. Uh, we've been uh, traveling for the past some days and you know promoting the film and we're yeah. finally back in Mumbai now. Is it been hectic like very? Uh, yes, kind of hectic uh, but we've been enjoying at the same time. Awesome. I want to start off by asking that this is a Pan-India release mm -hmm. and you know right now all the films are getting Pan-India. You've had releases that have been Pan-India before. What do you have to say about it? How do you think it's creating an impact when you have one particular film made in different languages and there's no barrier? See, I know, this is my first Pan-Indian film. I've done a lot okay. of South films, right? but uh, this is my first Pan-Indian film. So when, when Zed first told me, you know, so we shot this film in Kannada. Hmm. Um, uh, okay, and I, we never knew we were going to go Pan-India. Hmm. But then when he told me it's a Pan-Indian, we are going Pan-India, I said, okay, we are going Pan-India. Hmm. <laughs> but now I know it is not just Pan-India, it's Pan-India. Right. You know, we've been traveling and having sleepless nights promoting the film uh, just for those for people, for Banaras to reach the audience. Mm. And yes, when it comes to barriers, I think uh, now there's no North, South and you know, before yeah. it was True. Bollywood, Sandalwood, this wood, that wood. But now I think it's all broke. Th those barriers are, the language barriers are all broken. And now it's just one Indian film industry that we are working for. I think we've been enjoying, of course, uh, uh, we, we're getting to know more about the other industries as well, you know, yeah. be it the uh, Telugu industry or the Malayalam industry, the Bollywood industry. So I think uh, it's nice that uh, actors are now getting an opportunity to, you know, explore the other industries as well. Is there something that intrigues you about the other industries which you have explored on the way? I think everything is similar. Yeah, yeah. I th we actually had different um, thoughts, thoughts before, but I think it's 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 just the language that was a barrier. Right. Uh, apart from that, I think it's it's yeah. But you have different audiences. That's it. I think you know yeah. everyone have like for example, if you go to Mangalore, their people want a lot of comedy. Hmm. They were, and in South, you know, they want a lot of action. Every audience have their own perspective. So, especially because this is a Pan-India release and we've seen uh, the previous Pan-India films in the South that became so massive. Would you honestly tell what are you all expecting out of this film? What Before is the kind we didn't of have any expectations uh, uh, because we are newcomers, so right. we shouldn't keep any expectations. But I think uh, after the Maya Gange song, it's a very big hit hmm. uh, in all languages. Uh, we got quite uh, expectations after that but I never kept uh, after the trailer yes I am getting lots of lots of love and appreciation so I think the expectation has been grown up more right. so hope for the best we didn't have a lot of expectation it was just that the hope that we had mm. and now I think after the trailer launch the people's expectations have actually increased and our responsibilities have increased yeah so um, I think uh, we're hoping that people like the film uh, and give us the same love uh, like the way we received uh, for the trailer you guys also didn't know each other and it's a mysterious love story how did you manage to create on screen chemistry especially when you don't know someone <laughs> yeah I, we we never knew each other I, I still remember meeting him at the uh, muhurtam of the film and first uh, the first day i went uh, my sister was with me and i went and told my sister oh my god this guy has got so much attitude i do not know how i'm going to work with him throughout <laughs> you felt he has attitude <laughs> no, no i thought he had uh, but i mean they say don't judge yeah, yeah. a book by its cover but i did uh, judge him in the first day but then uh, later on i go you know when we went to banaras and in we were in banaras for like 40 days yeah. Uh, there we actually started knowing each other and there we became good friends. We are actually very good friends off screen as well now. So, but the first day was, I, I was like, oh, this guy has got a hell lot of attitude. <laughs> what, did you think the same way for her? Yeah, because, uh, <laughs> he actually thought the when, same thing. Uh, because uh, we had an audition for 1500 girls and yeah. no one got selected. 
and uh, one day sir called me uh, our director uh, yeah. he called me and said uh, the heroine is being finalized mm. oh, so that is great sir who who is she karke so uh, he said he, uh, i'll send you a whatsapp you just check his pic yeah theek karke bol ke maine phone open kiya i just opened the picture i saw her face uh, i said oh, okay uh, then i called back i said uh, sir i don't want to work with her <laughs> hey, what is wrong with you what happened she is so pretty she is so good looking what happened i said i don't know sir i i don't think so Uh, yeah. She will justify the character. I don't want to work. Uh, he was very adamant. He was very keen about that. He wants uh, her hmm. on board. So hmm. what to do? He is the captain of the ship. Yeah. I had to do because see. But I, now I said, he realizes that he was wrong. Tell that yeah, too. Def- <laughs> <laughs> definitely yes. Yeah, and um, you know when I saw the trailer, what's very interesting is the concept of the film. Huh. Now we're watching it on the trailer, but how did it sound to you guys on paper? Were you all completely taken away? Uh, buy it or you all were a little skeptical. No, we, we were, were confused. confused. Yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah. When we were shooting, I think the first half uh, when we were shooting, we were very clear about it what we are doing it. But the second half of the film is very complicated. Yeah. Uh, I think when uh, when you will watch the film on November fourth, you will get to know about it. So we were very confused. Not just us. the entire team including the only the person who was clear was the director yeah he was very clear on what he is should we we did not know what we are doing in the second half <laughs> we really so completely trusted the yes. the director the yeah, director. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, just, we just trusted his vision but when we watched the film hmm. uh, we got convinced okay then you all were like yeah till then we did not know what we did the second half <laughs> we, we had no idea <laughs> and because it's about so many time zones and the future just a hypothetical question if you guys get an opportunity to look at something in your future what would that be i think i do not want to spoil the surprise in my future i want to remain in the present itself what about you i will see that uh, do i am becoming a superstar in my future <laughs> if not i'll make sure i'll correct it because of some mistake if i have if i'm not becoming a superstar so i think i'll correct that and become a superstar and also the characters that you all have played uh, how much did you all prep and how was the entire process of getting into the you know skin of your character how connected did you feel with it my character is a very very um, you know simple character i didn't have a lot of uh, preparation to do actually you know i i didn't even have to act for example i also raised my eyebrows my director was like sonal no no <laughs> because very it's a very uh, simple very innocent girl um, i am playing a girl uh, whose life revolves just around her family and she hmm. doesn't know the outer world so i'm playing a character like that so what preparations will i require yeah. it was just like go on the set tell my lines come back It, my my mine was very very simple i think he had a lot of preparations yeah i he did he, because he did. Uh, i had to because this is my debut yeah uh, so i did my acting course in anupam kes academy so after completing that i went back to bangalore again i did a acting course in bangalore because yeah. uh, before i thought like uh, bollywood walon ka kaam karne ka tarika alag hota hai and south walon ka alag tarika hota hai right. i had that in mind but hmm. uh, that was wrong Hmm. Uh, so again, uh, I went to the class. I finished the classes. So a picture final hui. So we finalized the cinema. Uh, so we took three months. Uh, uh, I took three months for the preparations. Yeah. For the dialogue because uh, he is a completely different person. Siddharth is a very completely different, and Zaid is a very different. Hmm. I don't talk much. He talks much. Yeah. So there are plenty of things which are like doesn't match to our characters. So it took time for you to. Definitely yes. I took three months to get prepared. Yeah. Hundred percent. And what is something that you all learned from your director, Jai Tirtha? Because, like you all said, you all everyone was confused, but it was just him who was like super. I think he spends a lot of time uh, for his pre-production. I think. Hmm. I think that what we have to learn. He doesn't waste time on set. Hmm. He'll be very clear on set. Yeah, yeah. He knows what he wants. Yeah. And another thing is, yeah. I think his patience. I, we've never seen him scream on set or shout at anyone. Like sixty, eighty days, there were so many issues that we were facing in Banaras. Probably the weather, hmm. the weather conditions, or you know, some people just budging in the sets and a lot of things like that. But I think such he's he's got so much patience, so much patience. I think yeah. that is something that I've really, really learned from the director. And he's also a theater person, so he's a theater artist and he also uh, acts well. So yeah. for us, when he used to give us our lines, he used to act my line and also uh, Zed's line. Everyone, everyone. So it was so easy for us to even grasp what we, you know, what exactly uh, uh, he wants from us. Yeah. Uh, so I think that is something that we've learned from him. I think 
patience is the biggest yeah yeah and especially for you because this is like your launch and you know in one film you've got to play different emotions uh, how do you feel about that <coughs> see i was very clear about my vision uh, yeah. i have a uh, 7 years of struggle Uh, where I was struggling for a good director and a good script. Hmm. So in my destiny, it was something like if I used to get a good script, I used yeah. not get a good director. So if I used to get a good director, I used not get a good <laughs> script. If I used to get both, uh, the director used to be blocked for two to three years with some other actor. Got it. Uh, so finally, I met Jaitesh sir. So I was very clear about my vision: what kind of a character I want, what kind of a script I want. Uh, what kind of uh, grandeur I want on my on my film on my debut film? So mm. I told to Jaitesh sir, I said sir, this is what I want. I don't want more. I don't want less. I just want this much. Mm. So thoda masala masala dalke, you just give me the dish. <laughs> <laughs> and for you, do you feel like you had an edge somewhere because you've done films before, mm-hmm. and uh, you know it's easier for you to now you know get into the entire acting and shooting process? Um, uh, see, for me it was. Um, See, Banaras again is a very, very uh, special film for me because yeah, it is my uh, first pan Indian film. I've always wanted to, you know, explore every industry yeah. from the time. See, mine is a very different story because when I entered the industry, I did not want to get into the industry. Okay. I, I, I probably even in my dreams, I never thought I wanted to become an actor. I wanted to become a clinical psychologist. Oh my god! So I turned out to be an actor because of my mother's dream. and then uh, you know her dream is now my dream and my passion it's 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 the other way around but i always wanted to explore yeah the other industries from the time i have been in the so i think this film has given me thank me, me. <laughs> <laughs> this film yeah. has given me all that i wanted yeah. you know i'm i'm exploring bollywood i'm exploring the tamil industry the telugu industry the malayalam industry So I think uh, uh, yes, we uh, for me this cinema is definitely definitely going to be uh, that cinema yeah. that's going to probably push me to all the other languages. And you know what's been super interesting in the trailer, which I think people are talking in the comment section, is that poster that goes uh, of Salman <laughs> Khan uh, and and Doom Four is Doom written. Four. What was the intention behind it? You should ask him because that was his plan. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me the story behind it. People are so intrigued. He's you know, not going to tell you anything. I mean, I will. Bet Bet you on that. Why Salman Khan? We have to watch on November fourth. See, okay. <laughs> I told you he's not going to tell you. That's a surprise for all Salman Khan fans. Okay, so it's a Salman Khan. It's it's intentional. The entire no no no. no. It was not intentional in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> I can't disclose anything. See, he'll not tell you what it content. is. Okay. So I, I think told for you. that you have to watch the film. <laughs> Yeah. I will not say that is true or false. For that, also you have to watch the film. <laughs> I think I'm not getting any information. Yeah, <laughs> you will not get. Everyone have been asking him this question since the time we've started promoting. Yeah. He's just not even giving them a hint on what it is. <laughs> Clearly, we'll watch it on November fourth yes. and find out. So, considering that this film is so special for two of you, especially because it's one of your first and span India for you, uh, do you feel like there is some memory that you? Hold close to your heart, or something that was really challenging that you all faced on set. I think every day uh, uh, was beautiful in Banaras. Yes, of course, we had a lot of challenges. Be it the weather. Uh, there are days that we've actually postponed the shoot because of weather, hmm. uh, because of the fog. Uh, you hmm. know, uh, people, the the cinematographer couldn't capture things clearly. So there are days that we've postponed shoot, and hmm. of course, uh, the other challenge was there is a ghat named Manikarnika ghat where. you know bodies get burned like 100 200 bodies get burned at the same time mm. and um, uh, so uh, this was all new to me you know uh, mm. but i've never gone to banaras before so i was walking towards the set and i saw a rickshaw uh, having full music and full dj lights inside and there's a body up and the body is going here and i'm like are you serious <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I got a shock of my life seeing that yeah. and behind there's another and inside there's a family sitting also Who's just lost? Uh, I probably. I'm. I'm not or? sure. I do not know who yeah. it is. But there was a family sitting. I'm sure it is someone from there. There was music and there was. I'm like, ooh, what did I just see? Yeah, it's that is one and the. And the Manika Nika Ghat, uh, like in a minute, like hundred, hundred fifty dead bodies being getting burnt mm-hmm. every day, twenty four by seven. Yeah, yeah. So there's a small space where the family members can stand and see. Yeah. When the body is getting burned, so everyone are crying, screaming, and just next to that, hmm. I we were shooting, so there was a romantic scene. Oh, oh that was a challenge. So yeah. just imagine what situation I was in. 
No, definitely it's yeah. so the vibe every is every 10 seconds you're getting a atom bomb sound when the head get burned no i don't yeah. i didn't know about this but There's i got to know the sound that comes that up, sound yeah. that comes like atom bomb huh. and like a cracker so mm. that song was disturbing us and the dead body smell when it gets burned yeah 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 seriously i can't just tell you how it was yeah that was a challenge for us yeah no definitely i mean shooting a romantic scene right next to uh where bodies are getting burnt is not a joke i mean i think i'm the first actor in the world mm. to experience uh, that no. oh it is it's difficult Because it's, it's if not it was easy. a crying scene i would have, i would have done like this definitely uh, but for the romantic and that it was a close up shot for that romantic scene you want that love face that smile yeah. that naughtiness on your face yeah yeah i think for that one scene i took the whole day yeah yeah that was difficult. because see it's difficult for us to you know um shoot there it is not easy for you to probably do a romantic scene when there's so many bodies getting burnt right next to you 100% uh, that that was a challenge and where where do you guys see yourself in the future what are the upcoming projects that you guys are working on and when can we see you on screen after after banaras i think i have got around 8 films ready for release what <laughs> in the south not not right. pan india though in 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 south i have eight films ready for release and i'm shooting for five four to five films now so four to five films a year that's oh yeah you yeah. there we do a lot of films we 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 actually do, do. <laughs> we do three four films a year so think what about you sir i have three to four projects uh, i haven't finalized the content but uh, the directors are finalized so they are working on it i'm not able to give time there because this mm. is in my span in india so i have to concentrate here more mm. so i think after this release i think i'll go and sit and plan for my future what next to be done but before we let you guys go there's a small rapid fire that we'd want uh-huh. to play so uh, the first thing one thing that you absolutely love about your job about our job i think uh, will be very disciplined really wow oh, i'm not that disciplined though <laughs> what about you i think uh, that we get um, oh, probably we we meet people who we see when we were young we see these people on screen we get to meet them and know yeah. them in uh, a person i think that is one good thing uh, in our job and one thing you'd like to change from your past because the film is about time mm-hmm, nothing i nothing think my yeah, nothing absolutely nothing i my my past has been good but yes i definitely had ups and downs but those downs have taught me a new lesson so i think nothing what about you nothing i think mm-hmm. i think uh, if you force me I think uh, I will crop the seven years what struggle I did. <laughs> no, hundred uh, percent. An actor, an actress in Bollywood, you would want to work with. I want to work with Ranbir Kapoor. I really have a big crush on him. So, <laughs> <laughs> what about with everyone? One, no, give me one name. Yeah, I, I know who it is. Kiara Advani. Kiara Advani. Yeah, yeah. The last movie you felt like you want to be a part of that you Gangu watched. Gangu Bai. Gangu Bai. Now I love. I Ali think uh, Pushpa. If you were an ice cream flavor, which flavor would you want? Chocolate. A vanilla. Uh, what gets you the most upset? Gets me the most upset. Yeah. To be very frank, I've got these um, pet peeve if someone makes a lot of sound while eating. So yeah, that that's my pet peeve, and I really get irritated and upset. <laughs> <laughs> I actually cannot eat food. I'm I'm not joking. That okay. really really irritates me. <laughs> if people have two fa- uh, faces. Yeah. That upsets uh, him. I don't like. If you had a superpower, which power would it be, and what would you do with it? Probably right now, I would probably November fourth, I would get everyone to the theaters and make them watch the film. <laughs> that I would have done that now. <laughs> uh, I think I will change because one statement I gave like this in Bangalore, and it was a big controversy. <laughs> so I will not tell that power if I get. Ah, uh, yeah, you you said that, and that was a controversy, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He actually <laughs> said. <laughs> I want to be, that I want to become a prime minister. Oh. So his his father is basically into the political background, and he he said something, and it was a very big controversy. Oh my god! So I'm sure he's not going to say that. Yeah, so what? <laughs> I want to become a prime minister of India. Okay. Superstar or prime minister? Because superstar. Superstar is first. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you have million dollars, true love, or you want to stay young forever, which one would you choose, and why? Dollars for? Hey, mm. I didn't understand your question. If you got an opportunity to have million dollars Achha. through love mm. or stay young forever, which one would you choose out of the three? I think, I think stay young, young for forever. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would want to stay young forever and live my life. <laughs> true love. True love. Yeah. All-time favorite celebrity crush. Nanbir Kapoor. I already told you. I think Salman Bhai. 
I have two actually. I have Ranbir Kapoor. I have I have a list, but in in Hindi it's Ranbir Kapoor. I also like Vijay Devgan. So. <laughs> Everyone. Yeah. I'll tell Karina Kapoor. So thank you so much, thank guys. You. It was great talking to you, and wish you all the luck on thank the November so thank you. I'm sure it's gonna do well. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I just want to say one thing that uh, Banara Cinema is releasing on November fourth. Please go to the theaters and watch and give your lots and lots of love and prayers to us. Uh, Banaras is a mysterious love story. Uh, you have action in it, comedy, suspense, thrill, uh, family entertainment. It's a complete package, so you will all be entertained. It's a promise. So please, on November fourth, come to the theaters and watch. And give lots and lots of love. I think he's already told everything. So November fourth, uh, watch Banaras in your nearest theaters. Uh, I'm sure you guys are going to love it. It is. It is a film. Uh, I'm sure that you guys are going to enjoy. Uh, two and a half hours is going to be complete entertainment, and that's a promise. Hi, this is Ed Khan. Hi, this is Sonal Montero. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to, to Pink, Pink Villa. Villa.